Hey everyone, it's January from The Art of Braces and today I am here to go over oral hygiene instructions with braces. And our friendly dragon here, Art, is going to help us with that. Um, so this is a great thing to review every once in a while um, because I know a lot of times we get kind of lax with our hygiene, with our braces. As we have them for a while, we get kind of lazy about it um, and it just gets kind of tiring. You know, you've had braces for a while and brushing does take longer with your braces. So it's something nice to review every once in a while. So first thing first, with your toothbrush and your braces, you're always going to want to start. I always started on the bottom. So you're gonna brush along the bottom side of the braces. And you wanna do this all the way across. And then we're going to flip the toothbrush over and we're gonna brush the top sides of our braces all the way around. And then we're going to flip the brush one more time and we're actually going to brush along the gum line. So you wanna give those gums a nice good massage so that uh, it keeps the gums nice and healthy, okay? And then you're, don't forget about the chewing surfaces of these back teeth, as well as the tongue side of our teeth. Uh, pro tip when you're brushing these front teeth, if you use the heel of your toothbrush, it's a lot easier than trying to do it sideways like this. Um, and then we're gonna do the same thing for the bottom. His tongue's kind of in the way. Let's try that, okay. So now we're going to brush the top sides of the braces all the way around. Obviously it's going to take longer than that. You're gonna have stuff on your teeth. He, his teeth are nice and clean. Um, and then we're gonna do the bottom sides of the braces. And sometimes, just like what happened with me just now, um, sometimes the toothbrush bristles will get stuck under those little hooks on your braces. Um, it can happen, just kind of pull it out. Um, every once in a while, one will actually get stuck in your braces, um, and then you may have to use like some tweezers to get one of the little bristles out. It happened to me all the time. So yeah, just use some tweezers to get it out. Okay, so we brush the bottom side. Now we're gonna flip it again, and we're gonna brush along the gum line. Um, it's really important that you don't forget to brush along the gum line. Um, they will get swollen and red and infected and inflamed if you don't. Um, and then of course, chewing surfaces and then tongue side all the way around. Brushing with your braces, minimum of two minutes, really should realistically more take like three minutes. Um, so if you have a toothbrush with a timer, um, when I had my braces on as an adult, um, I did use a Sonicare toothbrush and I actually did two minutes for the top and then turned it back on and did another two minutes on the bottom because um, I felt like that was just the easiest way for me to do it. Um, if you are if you have the Sonicare or like our Gobi, um, I'm not sure, I think Oral-B does it too, it'll like kind of stop or pause or buzz uh, every 30 seconds. Um, so when you don't have braces, so say you have Invisalign or aligners, um, you can use that buzzing, so that's actually one quadrant. So the way I do it personally is I use one 30 second round to do the front of my teeth and then the chewing surface of like on one side it'll buzz and then I'll do the tongue side all the way around and then the chewing surface of the other side so that's one minute for the top and then I do the same thing on the bottom so front and then chewing surface of one side tongue side and then chewing surface of the other side um, but with braces because there's you know you have to do all those different angles um, I felt like that wasn't quite enough time um, to do it. So I did two minutes on the top, two minutes on the bottom. And I found that that kept my gums nice and healthy. So that's brushing. Um, your other thing to do is going, big thing is going to be your flossing. So, um, I actually already have this prepped. So this is the blue little floss threader that you're going to be using. Um, and then I have the floss tied onto that, um, double knotted. I found this to be the easiest way to floss while I had my braces on. Um, that way you don't have to re-thread it through the little loop after every single tooth um, if you just tie it on there. So you're going to slide this under the wire. Hopefully you can see this. Grab it with your other hand. And of course you don't have to hold your own head up um, like I'm trying to hold his head. So then you're gonna grab the floss with both hands. So I have it in this hand and this hand. His teeth are not separate. Oh yes they are. Okay, so then you floss. You wanna make sure that you make it into a C um, and wrap it around once the one tooth on the one side and you go under the gum line and then you go around the gums so around the sulcus which is the pointy part of your gums and to the other side and then make it a c and then go up and down along the other tooth so the whole goal of flossing is to clean the sides of the teeth up underneath that gum line um so that's why you wrap it as a c around that tooth and wrap it around a c around that tooth 
And then once you're done, pop it out from under your um, gum line and between the teeth, because in his case, um, and when you're done with your braces, your teeth will touch and then just pull out, okay? So you're gonna wanna do that all the way across. Yes, it's going to take time. I do suggest using your, doing your flossing at nighttime um, because in the morning, before work or before school, you're never gonna find enough time. The other big thing that you're going to use when you have your braces is your Christmas tree toothbrush or proxy brush. Um, I like to bend it like that to use it. And you always wanna to go towards your tongue. You don't wanna go up towards the gums like that. Um, that middle part is made out of metal and it's kind of pokey on the end. So if you go up towards the gums, it doesn't feel so great. Um, so yeah, just go down towards the tongue and you can use that to get any food that's trapped underneath the wire between the brackets um, and it gets it out for you. I actually did this kind of out of order. So if you're going to be doing this, I do do this first, the Christmas tree toothbrush then um, floss, and then regular brushing, okay? So proxy brush, floss, brush your teeth. And then of course, if you like, you can use a mouth rinse. Um, one that would be great, not necessarily this flavor, because I'm an adult and I think bubble gum, well, I've always hated bubble gum. But anyhow, if you're a kid, bubble gum is great. Um, so one that contains fluoride is a great option. So um, this is the ACT Kids. Um, anti-cavity so this one can it's a fluoride rinse um, there's also an adult version any of them with fluoride is a great option um, make sure that you're also using a fluoride toothpaste so I know a lot of people are trying to go all natural with their toothpastes um, and they're using like the Tom's or some of the other brands that are you know all natural but they don't contain the fluoride um, while you have your braces it's really important that you use a fluoride toothpaste um, so that we are refluoridating and uh, remineralizing the teeth um, to help prevent cavities because there's so many more nooks and crannies for all those, um, all the germs uh, to hang out, the bacteria. That's actually what causes the cavities. Um, it's actually an infection. Um, so if you're leaving the plaque on your teeth and there's more little nooks and crannies for those little bacteria to get in and start eating, they, the way a cavity forms is the, um, the bacterium eat the food that you've left behind um, and then their excretion is acid and that is what causes the cavities. It causes the tooth structure to weaken. Um, so we want to re-strengthen those um, tooth structures by using a fluoride toothpaste um, and a fluoride rinse is also great as well. Um, obviously, you just make sure you spit it out. Um, you don't want to swallow your fluoride, you just want it to cover the surface of your teeth. Um, so that's basic uh, hygiene. Oh, I have a thing to show you. So, um, this is showing the, you know, so best hygiene up here. So you can see that the gums are quite pointy in between the teeth, so that's excellent hygiene. Um, slightly less excellent, so this is good. Um, I mean, the gums are still pointy for the most part. There's a bit of rounding of the gums here. Um, and then we're gonna go down to here. So this is average. Um, there's a little bit of rounding, a little bit of swelling of the gums. Um, but not too terrible. Um, this one here is not so good. We've got a lot of inflammation there. Um, there's being there's plaque that's being left behind. Um, there's you're gonna start seeing these chalky white spots on your teeth if you have if you're at this level. Um, that's called decalcification. Um, and those spots are permanent, so we want to try to avoid getting those white spots on our teeth. Um, and then this one down here is poor. Um, you'll see a lot of plaque, a lot of swelling. Um, your gums will be bleeding when you brush and floss. Um, and you'll see just a lot of plaque left behind on the teeth. The teeth will appear very dull. So with excellent hygiene, your teeth should be shiny when you're done brushing them. Um, and so should your brackets. So if you're done brushing and your brackets or your teeth appear dull, you probably should brush a little bit longer. Uh, if you have any questions about oral hygiene, uh, make sure you ask us at your next appointment or you can comment below and we'll answer you there. We hope you guys have a great day. Bye!